Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Obey AF Drafter, which was released with the Casino and Resort DLC. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is very beautiful. It is based on an Audi RS5. Uh, it's going to cost you 718000 from Legendary Motorsport. So it is an expensive vehicle, but it's not. You know, it's not breaking that 1 million barrier, which a lot of the new vehicles do, especially the top end vehicles anyway. And this, in my opinion, is a top end vehicle. It looks awesome. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this build. And as always, we're going to start with 100% body armor, then the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper. Front bumper, we've got three additional options. It doesn't change all that much, but as you can see, the little split at the bottom changes from like just a gloss black to a carbon black. Uh, then the street splitter was a little bit bigger and then the same is the carbon version but we've got these struts as well. So we're going to get the racing splitter, rear bumpers, we've got the rear painted diffuser, can't really see what's going on there but then we've got the painted custom diffuser which is a lot nicer and then we get the carbon variant of that as well. We are going to go with the carbon the, uh, custom diffuser because then it matches the front splitter that we've got which is also carbon. So, let's go with that bad boy, then we've got the engine, then we've got the level 4 engine upgrade for that, uh, move on to the exhausts, uh, the titanium exhaust is quite nice, and then the titanium tuner exhaust is also really nice, um, so there's some nice options, oh the big balls man, I think we have to go with something like that, then we've got the grill, uh, we can chrome up, we can carbon, we can performance, and we can sports, which is a removal by the looks of it. I personally like the stock grill, uh, but the carbon one actually tickled my fancy because it's it's the inlay of the of the grill which actually changes, which is nice, and it changes it to carbon, and then it matches the front and the rear, which I've done already. So I'm gonna go with a carbon grill. I think that looks pretty cool. Then we've got the hood. So we've got the carbon hood. We've got the vented, the scooped, the street, the performance, the carbon, the tuner, the race and the race carbon. Man, there's some really nice options for the hood. These first few are, are really cool too, but once they get into this sort of territory, it really sort of like excites me. I think it looks fucking awesome. Um, I'm gonna go with the race hood, man. That looks so good. Uh, we're gonna skip the horn. Lights, headlights, we are gonna go with the Xeon headlights. Uh, we're gonna skip an neon kit. Don't want a neon kit. Liveries. Uh, we've got the twin stripe, we've got the Obey. The Obey coverage, that actually looks quite cool. Not usually my sort of thing. That actually looks really cool. Cracked AF, AF sorry, that looks pretty sweet. The Urban Streets, that looks nice too man. There's some cool liveries for this vehicle. Hold up, wait a minute. That's the, uh, that's the M3 livery from Need for Speed. Why the fuck they put it on an Audi? That makes no sense. Anyway, let's move on. Prolapse Golf, uh, Motor Market, Gutter Blood, and Val de Grist. Um That's a little bit weird. I'm not too too keen on that one. But there's some cool liveries, man, for this. I'm not usually a fan of liveries. I can't believe that's on it. really cannot believe that Rockstar have put the, a BMW livery on an Audi. What's all that about? I don't understand. I really like this one. The Urban Streets, man. That looks awesome. I'm going to go with it. Why the hell not? Let's have it. So mirrors. We've got custom mirrors, which are carbon. Let's get them. Why the fuck not? Plate, we're going to skip. Respray. We're going to go primary color classic because we do have a livery. We don't want to be messing up any sort of colors or consistency of that livery. So classic is always the best option. White looks awesome as well. I think, yeah, I think white's the color. We're going to go frost white for the classic primary, secondary classic. Uh, oh, it's just, just the trim on the inside. Look at that. Then we've got the roof. Ooh, we've got a roof scoop. Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. It looks all right, I suppose. Uh, then we've got the carbon. Then we've got a roof spoiler. That's, that's pretty cool, I like that carbon version of that and then we've got the tuner kit and then the race kit we're gonna go tuner kit why the hell not uh, roof accessories 
roof rack. Well, we don't really want want a uh, roof scoop with a roof rack. That looks stupid. Uh, we don't want the vortex generators either because we've got a spoiler at the back there. So, yep, we're going to leave that as it is. Skirts. We've got the custom skirts. And then we've just got the streets. And then we've got the sports skirts. We're going to go sports skirts. Spoiler. I don't think we're going to get a spoiler because we've got that roof spoiler going on there. We don't want too many fucking spoilers. It'll look ridiculous, but I will quickly skip through them anyway so we can see what's available. Um, there's some really nice options as well, man. I love the way you can customise this vehicle. You can make it look so unique. Uh, we're going to slam it. Race suspension, transmission. We're going to get super transmission and turbo tuning. For the wheels, the wheels are really nice. They're one of them sets of wheels where um, they're unique to the vehicle. Uh, you won't be able to get these on any other. And I love it when Rockstar do that. A lot of the time I don't change them because these are just so awesome. And they do look really cool. Um, but because I've changed so much of the vehicle already, I felt I'm just going to go ahead and change these anyway. I'm going to go Ice Kid. They look awesome. Why the hell not? Uh, wheel colour. It's got to either be black or white. I think black. So we're going to go carbon black for the wheels. And wind deflectors. Wow. I don't think we've ever had these on a vehicle. This is very... Oh, actually, no. I think we can get them on the Sultan RS. I believe. Once you take into Benny's. I think. I might be wrong. I probably am wrong. But I can't remember any other vehicle that you get wind deflectors on. Even though they're weirdly placed. They're not actually placed where wind deflectors should be. Where, where it is in the actual door trim they're placed on top which is really odd um, so I ain't gonna get them I think they look a little bit weird windows boat smoke windows in baby and that's it that is it for the Obey AF drafter and man you can do some awesome things to this car that looks so cool this is now my f this is my new favorite car I can't believe I ain't done a video on it until today Seriously, man, when it first came out, I bought it, and then it just sat in my garage. I didn't do anything with it, because I thought, getting the, the, you know, the, the drip feed cars out of the way and recorded was priority. Uh, so all the vehicles that were released originally with the Casino and Resort DLC kind of just sat on the back burner. I bought them all, they sat in the garage, and then that was it. I'd done all the unreleased stuff first, and now I'm only now getting around to doing the very first released ones from the from the DLC and I'm I'm loving this man this is so cool just the way it looks and I can't believe it's got that M M3 um, livery on there as well so you can make some awesome need for speed builds if you if you really wanted to but I love the way this looks this livery is awesome this car looks awesome it feels really quick and responsive I think it's in the sports category, I believe. It's going to cost you $718,000 from Legendary Motorsports. This is definitely worth that money. 100%, man. I'll take this over a million dollar supercar any day. It's so unique. The customizations on it is awesome. You could make five of these, ten of these, and all of them would look different. That's what I love about cars like this in, in uh, GTA. It's the, it's the cars that they release where there's not much customization or you know where you can't really put your own stamp on it and all of them will end up looking the same. But cars like this, man, I love them. <laughs> Wouldn't they? Oh, even from stock, it looks awesome. I'm so excited about this car. I'm going to have to go into online and purchase it now. 100%, man. I'm going to have to go and buy it because this, is, this looks mint. I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend this car. It actually feels really nice to drive as well. Qu pretty quick, very responsive, uh, tight in the corners. The brakes are awesome. It looks awesome. Customizations are awesome. And for $718,000, it's a fucking steal. So if I was you, if you haven't bought it already, go and buy this bitch, man, because it is 100% worth it. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.